Yeah, man, so, these are nice. Bro, they be thinking they Cat are bread. But it's real difficult, though, you know what I'm saying, to, to actually hatch some eggs, some lizard eggs, you know, let alone snake eggs. For real, and to be able to do that, he got skills. So we're going to watch these things grow, and we're going to see how they turn out. Stay tuned. Man, shout out to my bro Marco, man, for the baby alligator lizards. I really appreciate that, bro. Now I can breed my own. They eat these little uh, pinhead uh crickets baby crickets baby lizards eating baby crickets there's one there's two there's another one sticking his head from under the box these are males you can tell the difference between males and females because males have broader heads bigger heads than the females females have more pencil shaped heads so these are the the babies my brother gave me i got a tank right now full of females and um, I don't want to put these babies in there with the females right now because they they grown adult females and they will actually eat uh, kill these babies so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them in this little nursery just until the babies get old enough where I can put them in a tank you know with the uh, adult females all right that's one of my adult females you see the size difference now this is the size the females get when they become adults. That's an adult female right there. She's about two years old. She's actually ready to breed right now. You know, she's a, a breeder size. But I won't be able to breed nothing until my males get old enough, until they get mature enough, which is gonna take about two years. So I won't be able to have my own set of babies for about two years, basically. Um, the reason why they called alligator lizards is because if, as you can see, they look like little miniature alligators and they're covered in armor. They have these armor-like scales which protect them from thorns and you know they can run through uh, thorn bushes without getting poked by the thorns because they have armor-plated scales. So that's the difference between alligator lizards you know and other kind of lizards. They have these hard scales. Just like other lizards you know they can detach their tails whenever something grabs their tail. They can let their tail go and use their tail as a distraction while they get away and find safety. Another cool fact about these lizards is they don't really need too much heat. These lizards are semi warm blooded. They can actually regulate their heat, kind of like, you know, mammals do. You know, when it's real cold outside, they can actually raise their uh, temperatures. They're still cold blooded like other lizards, but they can actually re regulate their heat and rise their heat temperatures if they need to when it's cold. But the only difference is when they get hot, they can't make their temperatures cool down. That's why you find these lizards living by rivers and creek streams where they can go, you know, get closer to water to actually help cool them off.